These are the holy ones who have received blessings from the Lord and mercy from the God who saves them, such as the people who seek the Lord. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the wisdom and strength of the cross, which with, you were, with which you were pleased to endow St. Rita, so that, suffering in every tribulation with Christ, we may participate ever more deeply in this Paschal mystery, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles in your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Centre, he shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to, joy, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid, tr <clears throat> the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy, that a child has been born into the world. So you are also now in anguish, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we celebrate the feast day of St. Rita of Cascia, and St. Rita, she has an important message to teach us. She was a wife, a mother, and eventually she became a religious sister. She grew up wanting to join a convent as a young girl, 
but was pressured by her family into marrying in, uh, in a very young age to a harsh and cruel man who subjected her to physical abuse. Uh, in this marriage, which lasted for 18 years, she bore two sons, but eventually her husband was killed in a feud with the rival family in Italy. And it was after their father's death that both of her sons decided to uh, basically go on a vendetta and take revenge on the people who ended their father's life. Now, thankfully before, I say thankfully, but before they could uh, actually go out and commit these revenge murders, they actually died of sickness. And so Rita was left without a husband or sons, children at all. And it was then that she joined the convents after a few tries. Uh, it wasn't the custom back then in the 17th century to allow uh, women who had been married into the convent. But she did, and she lived a life of service in the convent, and it was in these days that she bore the stigmata, which is the actual physical markings of the wounds of Christ during his crucifixion, uh, specifically the crown of thorns uh, around the head and the marks of the nails in her hands appeared spontaneously. So you can basically summarize St. Rita's life by saying that it was not a very pleasant one. There weren't that many happy days, it doesn't sound like, from reading her biography. But that goes to show you that we can't just wait around for things to get better or for things to be just right in order to be saints. We are called to be saints right here and right now, no matter the time or the circumstances. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, who are pleased to create and blessed St. Rita of Cascia, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like her, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
in the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may, be, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion and Antiphon. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Alleluia. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Saint Rita of Cascia, and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. You may have noticed in this video there are no other people here with me at Mass. This is because I'm recording this later in the morning. We had a power outage uh, last night. We had a storm roll through. And so this morning, our scheduled Mass was actually done by candlelight, uh, hearkening back to the 1900 years that the Church existed without electricity. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.